Good day everyone, I'm here somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Cyprus and let me tell you how I got here. Yesterday I was in Nikosia, the capital of Cyprus, a city that's divided in two by the border between northern Cyprus and the Greek part of Cyprus and I decided hey I'm going to see if they are going to let me through to the Greek part and they did so here I am now in the Greek part of Cyprus walking towards the place I marked on the map an old mine, uh, a strip mine, so there's a, a lake there and the lake is colored red and there's a lot of old mining equipment still lying around there so let's see if we can find this it's gonna be a walk still though because I'm not in the post-Soviet countries anymore so it's not easy for me to just afford a taxi to go everywhere we're going on foot today on these old boots, boots that I bought all the way back in 2007 I've been walking on them around the world ever since even though we're on Cyprus right now I see a Greek flag flying up there and I think that is because this island's main religion is Greek Orthodox and this right here is a Greek Orthodox church so they are flying the flag to go along with it Remember guys, real gangsters, they carry their trash around with them until I find a suitable bin to put it in. I've gone to a little village around here, bin over here, so I can finally get rid of this empty can. That feels better. There's a lot of old, dilapidated stuff lying all around the path to this mine. Like this piece of machinery. Not quite sure what it is. A crane of sorts, I think. Wonder what it was used for. Maybe it was also somehow related to the mining. Looks cool though. All rusted. Getting closer and closer to the lake. And it's not only an interesting place because it's a red, probably toxic, I don't know, lake. But there's also a bit of murder mystery going on here. It was a very big story in Cyprus two years ago how an officer of the army killed seven women and children and the bodies they were found here around this area in the lake in the mine shafts all around they should all be found now I don't expect to run into any new bodies I hope not but this place was the center of a big, big story two years ago. And here you can see the quarry already. Wow, it's really, really deep. Look at that. And what a strange color, like blood. What a spooky location, especially if you consider the story I just told as well. Over there, on the other side of the lake, I can make out few canvases with pictures of tanks on them. I don't think you can see it on my GoPro image, but if I zoom in with my other camera, you can see them over there. And I think maybe these are for target practice for the military or something. I heard there's some firing range nearby, so that might be why these canvases of tanks are up. One is down already, but I don't think it's been taken down by some shell, but just by the wind. I think a shell would just fly right through it. You can see some of the rocks have a somewhat unnatural looking green hue about them and I think that is because this was a copper mine. Cyprus the island has been known since the ancient times as a source of copper. It was a big player in the Bronze Age and they still produce copper although not in this mine right here. In this fence here that's overlooking the Red Lake. I found a very macabre site. You can see that people a while ago have showed up and put down flowers to remember the victims of the serial killer that I told you about. But all the flowers are long dead and withered. It looks like the aftermath of a very spooky witchcraft ritual that has gone on here. Well, I haven't been able to locate the old mining equipment that I was looking for, unfortunately. But I found these three strange structures. Their purpose to me is a mystery. 
they look like they were just designed as hangout spots for people to sit down here but it's in the middle of nowhere I mean, you do get a wonderful view but I doubt very many people will show up and enjoy this I did and you you came along with me you don't always find everything what you're looking for when you go on an adventure like this but it's always an adventure hope you enjoyed the video I hope to see you next time for the next one.